Welcome back, guys. We uh, we've got oh, we've got so much to do. It's incredible. I'm loving it. Um, I've got so many things to get to, including obviously this down here. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Now I should be getting on with um, sorting out the freight lines and, um, and and getting the supply chains going and all the rest of it. Well, frankly, screw that. We've got airplanes. So we've got to do some airplane stuff. Um, so. Uh, am I going to pause it? I don't, oh, I'm, yeah, I, uh, no, I don't think I'm going to pause it. Right, we're going to start over here, I think, in Barrington. And we're going to put in an airport. Because um, this is actually set up really nicely for an airport. Airport. Oh, yes. Right, now I'm going to crank this up to three terminals straight away. Let me show you the difference, actually. So um, if, we, if we spin this around, we'll put it in over here. Now, oh, let me show you the... Like, Putting this on flat terrain is kind of important. Look at that. Okay, putting it there, it's like half a million to put that in, right? You try putting it in somewhere that's a bit not so level. Two million, four million, seven million, nine million. <laughs> it gets pretty expensive. Right, let's put this damn thing in. Um, I'm not going to fuss with this too much. I'm going to put this just straight in. Now, the nice thing about putting it here, it's connected to both the, uh, the bus depot and the train station. So it's kind of handily located there. So yeah, in you, I'm just thinking about um, freight lines. So e, let's put it there. Okay, is that uh, is that connected to everything? Yeah, that's connected to everything. Sweet. Oh, I oh, I didn't buy. I didn't upgrade it. I meant to, to upgrade it to three terminals. There we go. Three terminals. It's very cool, isn't it? And it's got a built-in depot. So here's your depot where you buy the aircraft, and then uh, this is your this is your terminals and stuff, and your runway and oh, it's like a wait, guys. Seriously, wait till you see the planes. It's just awesomely good. Now, where are we? Where's our first connection going to be to? Well, I think how about like the opposite side of the halo line? How about Winston? Winston? Uh, Winston or Lutterworth? I don't know. I think Winston. Yeah, I think Winston. Now, Winston's a little bit more difficult to get this in because of this road. I mean, let's, uh, you know what? Let's um, let's get rid of that. Trim that back a bit. Uh, how are we going to do this? Now, I don't have a road across here. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. I'll tell you what we could try. Well, I'll tell you what we could try and do. I'm going to have to knock down some buildings. But if we ran a road... Like and tunneled under here. You can do it. You can do it. You, oh, that. Oh, it'll work there, and that'll do for me. Boom, you're in. Now the question is, can we hook the airport up so that it's uh, it'll hook up directly to the the bus depot and the train station? Would be kind of nice if we could. That'll do right there. Now you may look at this and go, "Oh my God, it creates these really ugly things." Uh, you don't worry about it because all you do go to your terrain smoothing and just um, just smooth it out so you can get these to blend like kind of perfectly into the terrain which I love go on we'll do, we'll do a little bit we'll do a little bit so let's see if we can make it a bit nicer for our inaugural flight all right that's that's enough we want to see planes uh, oh, I want to upgrade this to three terminals. Yeah, do that now. There we go. That's more like it. Right. Planes. <laughs> oh, you want to have a look? Now we've got two planes. Um, the Junkers F-13, which uh, apparently was the first all-metal transport aircraft. And then we've got the uh, the Dornier Mercur. Uh, you know what I'm tempted to do? I'm tempted to put a third aircraft, uh, a third one in now where is the most popular destination holiday destination in the world do you know the the most popular holiday destination in the world it's here how many times have you asked your wife or girlfriend um so where do you want to go on holiday do you want to go um yeah you want to go where we went last year no nah, i want to go somewhere else there you go see and here it is here is somewhere else so i think 
Now, I've got to be careful with the placement, and maybe that's not the best one to choose. Maybe we should do it over here in, like, Ice Cream Town. Right, let's put it in there. Boom. And, of course, I should have upgraded it, and I forgot. Uh, three, apply, done. Uh, now, the, the reason I wanted to put in an extra station was because I want one line with the one type of planes and one line with the other type of planes. So, let's put in by aircraft Junkers F-13s. Um, let's have the uh, let's have the F-13s going to wherever the hell it was I just put in. And we'll have the Dorniers going to the first one I put in. <laughs> I can't remember the name of. Uh, Winston. Right, so Junkers F-13. One, let's buy a couple at this end. Right, set line, new line. This is going to be from here to... Uh, th oh, this is going to be to this one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, here we go. So you're going to go to there. Oh, we're going to have such fun with this. Uh, do I'm, I'm going to get them both set up and then we'll look at them. So, one, two, set up the line, new line, from here to Winston. Where's Winston? Here's Winston. Cool. And then uh, next, what are we going to do next? Next, we're going to put in two aircraft here. So, uh, oh, no, I didn't want to buy that. Wrong one. Buy two of those. Bye bye. And those are going to go on line 12. And then I'm going to get a couple more of the Dorniers. One, two. And put those on a new route, which is going to be from there over to where was it? Ice Cream Town. Ice Cream Town, I think. Here we go. Yep. Ice Cream Town. Ice Cream Town transfer. I've got to rename all of these. Uh, and then we want to buy. Uh, yeah. Then we want to buy two aircraft here. Bye bye, and we want to put those on line 13. Okay. All right. Now let's um, let's see. Let's go over here because we want to see these. We want to see. Oh look, look. There's our first plane just sticking out of the hangar. <laughs> oh. I know I am ridiculously excited about this, but trust me. Wait till you see them. So, aircraft number one. Should we, should we do it? Should we do it? All right, let's do it. Uh, let's, let's follow it. There we go. Oh, here's our little little Junkers. And it's going to taxi out of the hangar. And it's actually going to taxi over to one of the terminals where it picks up the passengers. And then, once it's picked up a passenger... Or in this case, there's no passengers waiting yet. Um, it will then go to the main runway. Should we have fun? Let's just let's just indulge ourselves, shall we? Because this is pretty damn beautiful. And the the, uh, the planes that we've got to look forward to. Oh my God, Concorde! We're going to be able to fly Concords around here. How freaking cool is that going to be? Here we go. So, he's checked to see if there's any passengers. There's no passengers. So now he's going to taxi out to the main runway. Oh, you can see, you can see the pilot in there and everything. It is pretty awesome, isn't it, guys? Come on. The first time I saw these, it was like, oh my god, I better go and fetch a box of tissues. I'm watching the pilot. I wonder if, he, I wonder if he's nervous. You nervous? First flight, brand new aeroplane, could crash. Could crash and burn. Here we go. Now he'll crank it up. go and we have lift off
Now, I don't know about you guys, but the way these planes look, the way they fly, the, the, route, the way the routes work is so much better than um, city skylines. It, the, the routes, that the, the way they fly into the airplanes, into the airports and stuff, is so much more realistic. And he, look, look, he's even dropped the revs on the engine now that he's achieved uh, cruising altitude. So there you go. There's the Junkers in flight. Now, let's go find another one. Let's go and find one of the Dorniers, shall we? So let's, um, let's head over to uh, Barrington. There's Ice Cream Town, so we want to go Barrington. Here we go. Oh! We just had one take off. That's a Junkers. Here's a Dornier. Now yeah, the Dorniers are a bit bigger. I'm going to leave, the, um, gonna leave the, the Junkers up, so maybe we'll catch it on landing. We'll see. So, here we go. Let's get the mouse out of the way. So, we're going to... Head into the terminal. Check for passengers. Oh, there we go. He's turned around. And he's just waiting for waiting for other planes to move out of the way. No, oh, there's a there's another Yunkers ready to take off. Or no, or are you going to the terminal? No, he's going to take off. He's going to take off. You know what? I'm, yeah, I'm really tempted to speed it up. Go on, just get out of the way. Right, there we go. I'm keeping an eye on that Yunkers because I want to see it land. That'll be our first landing. Aren't they wonderfully bright and shiny? Look at the reflections and everything. God, video games are so good these days. How's our, uh, how's our other Junkers? Headed for ice cream. Still in flight. Here we go. Tail lifts up. And we're in the air. They are, look, I mean, shadow on the ground, the sun reflecting off the wings. It is incredibly beautiful, isn't it? I know I'm kind of, like, being very, very effusive about this, but come on! There's another plane over there! <laughs> oh, my God. The skies are going to be full of planes. Oh, how are you? Oh, right. Hear the engine? He cuts the engine to virtually nothing. As um, as he gets close, he's losing altitude. He's making his final approach. See what I mean about it being like, the, the, the the flight paths are so much more realistic. The the ones in city skylines, they like take off and then bank at like ninety degrees and disappear off. At ridiculously steep angles and stuff. Whereas here, I mean, that's a proper flight. God, I want to see Concorde take off. Well, there we go. There's our Junkers. Safely landed. And now he'll trot trot off to the next terminal and he'll be off for another lap how's our uh, how's our Dornier doing oh he's got a ways to go where are you where are we off to uh, you're going to oh you're going to Winston I'll tell you what let's just let's just crank it up a little bit because I want to see him land at Winston Oh, and you've got all the other stuff going on. By the way, I need to show you the towns. I really need to remember to show you the towns because they've changed, like, quite a lot. Here we go. 
Okay. He's cut the engine to virtually nothing. We must be very close. Yeah. He's going to make his final approach. The uh, engine's virtually idling at this point. Here we go. Look at where the pilot is. <laughs> Doesn't even get a, like a, a sealed cockpit. Passengers are all right. He's like, I'm freezing my nuts off up here. Oh, look at this. Bringing it round. Look at the. I mean, look. Even the flaps are going and everything. The level of realism is just awesome. Seriously, if you if you can't get off on this, then uh, seriously, go see a doctor because there's something seriously, seriously wrong with you. And touchdown! Hear the little tire squeal. Very nice landing, Captain. Very good. Very good job. All right. Oh man, I could uh, seriously, I could sit and watch the freaking airplanes all day, but I suppose I better get on and do some other things, hadn't I? Yeah, I suppose so. Oh, I've got to blend all this terrain in, make it look nice. Okay, uh, before we uh, before we finally address the elephant in the room down here, which you guys can't wait for, um, a couple of quick bits of naming. Uh, we've got a new town over here. One of my patrons, Lisa Lot. Or actually, it's Liza. Lott. She she says it's pronounced Liza Lot. So I thought um, on the River Sly, Liza Lot on the Sly. There you go. She also asked if she could have a train. And like, yeah, of course you can. You can have a train. Um, oops, let's get out of that. If I go, if I go to here and go to the vehicles, I'm going to do a bit of vehicle naming quickly. So um, she wanted a train. Uh, let's see. Actually, if I if I sort this the other way, and yeah, you can have a train. Uh, no, not the Spotfield Stone one. Uh, if we want something that's on the Halo line, here you go. Let's uh, let's have this one. She wanted um, the Globe Lotter. <laughs> so yes, you can have the Globe Lotter. There you go. The Globe Lotter. There we go. Done. And I'm going to name a few more of these as well. Very quickly. Very quickly. Promise. Um, this one's going to be... Oh, Blind Archangel. Now, you know Rootbra? Rootbra, that's Sam Root. Well, he, he's, his like, gaming handle is uh, is Blind Archangel. Blind Archangel. There we go. Uh, yeah, have I spelled that right? Yeah, Blind Archangel. Yeah. That should be the blind dark angel. There we go. The blind dark angel. Cool. There you go. Uh, but he also he, he said, "Can I have a train?" And then he was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh can I have an airplane?" So you know what? We'll I'll, I'll yeah. Let, let's do it now. So aircraft one is going to be called uh, flying blind, which I like. Well done. Well done, Sam. Good one. So there we go. First airplane flying blind. Okay, that's that. That's that. Uh, let's go back to the trains. And um, another one of these. Um, let's see. Shiquan wanted in. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Shiquan wanted in. So this one's going to be called the Shiquan. There you go, Shiquan. That's you done. And uh, what else? We've got... Um, oh, Paratrooper. Paratrooper wanted in. And he spells his name like this. Paratrooper. There we go. That's you done. Is that everybody? That's everybody apart from one. At my very latest patron, he only signed up yesterday. Actually, several people did. Um, but this is the one that we're doing. He wanted a town, and it's Lance Burke. And this one's up in the mountains, so I thought we'd call this Lance Burke Heights. How about that? Lance Burke Heights? Yeah, it's got kind of a ring to it, hasn't it? That's for kites. I like that. Uh, right, that's it. That's all the naming done. All the naming done. Yeah, I'm just checking my list. Yeah, that's all. That's all the all the ones done. Uh, uh, actually, <laughs> no. There's one more, which yeah, I'm going to do this one because it's kind of amusing. Um, Lisa Lot did ask as uh, Lisa Lot. Uh, she said, as well as doing that, could you possibly name a depot? Um, 
and I, you know what? I might end up doing this with all the depots because I think it's quite funny. The um, the lease a lot <laughs> depot. <laughs> a capital D on the depot, don't you think? There we go. Lease a lot. Excellent. Cool. So that's all the naming app. Right, let's go do this. Okay, now I have done some f pretty freaking monumentally stupid things when I've been playing games in my time. This, I think, takes the biscuit for biggest epic fail of all time. This is supposed to be a freight station, and I put in a passenger station, and I didn't notice. Let's pause. Let's get rid of it. Fortunately, it's an easy fix. Get rid of that. Get a freight station, you idiot. Let's turn catenaries off. Let's have... Oh, we've got the option for high-speed tracks now. Oh, very cool. We want, um, let's say we just want two tr platforms on this, don't we? Now, if I spin it around, this should, yeah, just slot in. Now, it, there, that's where it goes. Boom. And the nice thing is that it'll even pick up the, um, the, the routes that were already on there. So if we, um, like, well, if we, find the, if we find the freight train, where's the freight train? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Um, where's the freight train? Oh, it's uh, H, isn't it? Halo Freight 1. Uh, Halo Freight 1. Yeah, Halo Freight 1. Where are you? Right, if I click on the line, yeah. See, it's reattached that station. It's clever like that. I like that. Right, what are we going to do next? Well, now that we've actually got that hooked up properly... Right. We should start getting uh, freight shipped to that. In fact, we will get start getting freight shipped to that. But I want to get more freight on the line ASAP. So I'm going to go over here. We have got plenty of food. Oh, this has just picked up a load of food. 80 food. There's still 47 there, right? And we can actually increase production even more if we get this line sorted out. Because these trains at the moment... Um, they're not running full because the farm is producing more grain than livestock. And if we actually go to this, it'll say, meh, um, it'll actually, it should say, yeah, try to ship more grain. Because we've got potential to uh, to do a lot more grain. So let's get um, let's get a lot more grain going. Now, these are relatively new trains, so I can't do the, um, the rapid upgrading trick, which is a bit of a damn shame. So what we're going to have to do is try and get these into the depot. Now, because they're picking up both ways, I've got to try and do this before it picks up. So after it drops off, but before it picks up. So let's speed you up a little bit and get this. And then as soon as it's unloaded. So here we go. And there it goes, unloading everything. And now, go to the depot. Yes, and I didn't lose any food. Good. Right, let's speed this up. Let's get this done quickly, because there's, there's so much to do. Right, get into the depot. And boom, pause. Right, let's change you. I'm going to get rid, because we're running it with like six and six at the moment. Buy trains. Now, we're going to change it to nine and three, I think. So what do I want? I want three more open wagons. One, two, three. And I want three for the bands. One, two, three. Okay, go. Um, set line. This is the... Oh, this is the Applejack line, isn't it? Yeah. Get on the Applejack line. There we go. So, go. In fact, go. Go, go, go. Get down there. Grab a load of food. Oh, heck, no, 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 no. That means we're not going to be hauling as much food back. Oh, man. You know what I actually need to do? No, go back to the depot quick. No, I just need to in increase the grain carts. Okay, pause. Uh, pause. Oh, yeah, yeah. That gives me a bit of a problem now. Yeah. Buy trains. Yeah, what did I want? I wanted another three for bandswagons. So, one, two, three. Yeah. Damn, damn. Okay, never mind. Um, set that back on the Applejack line. Go. Okay, now. 
I really want this train to go out and pick up first before this train. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in a quick cheeky signal. There. Ha! Stopped you. <laughs> right. Oh, he ignored it. You, oh, you son of a... Oh, man. Because he was ahead of this one. Oh. Oh, mom. Okay, go. Uh, we need to do the same thing with this one anyway, so... Um, oh. That's actually a bit of a problem. You, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reverse this. Go back. Yeah. Go up. Um, do I let it just go all the way back or... Yeah, yeah just, just, just go back. Just go back. We're running this on fast. It won't take long to get back. Right, so now you can come out. You can carry the same amount of food that you were carrying before, but you can now haul more grain. So yeah, so in actual fact, all I wanted to do was add like three grain carts to it. One, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, right, cool. So now we need to get the other one into the depot and do the same thing. Oh, end of the year. Get down here. Get down here quick. Alright, let's slow you down. Grab the train. Oh, that's just you. Right, so as soon as you've unloaded... I'm trying to do this without losing any food. I mean, I probably shouldn't pay that much attention, but I'm kind of mean, so... Boom, go. Yeah, get yourself in the depot. Quick. Because we've got other things to do. Got millions of things to do. Alright, and pause. Alright, so let's... Now I'm going to sell these and then buy new ones because I like my trains to be organised. Bit, bit of the OCD. Sorry. Sorry, here's what it is. Uh, so let's get... Open wagon. One, two, three. And then for bands... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Get you back on the Applejack line. Go. And yeah, I know I'm running it on fast, but there's a lot, a lot to do, so I just want this kind of done. Right, so you'll go down there. You'll put, Oh, my God, look at all the food. We've got 200 food sitting there. That's because I've been messing around with the trains and slacking off. Um, I'm thinking we actually need more of a bandwagon to carry more food. We'll see. Now that they're back on regular schedule, hopefully they'll start to eat into this. But the thing is, we're bringing, we're bringing a lot more grain. Mind you, some of the food's going on that line. No, we might still be okay. It's down to 100 now. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. But that, anyway, we're supplying more goods to this so the production here can actually go up. And that's what's important. That's what's important. Okay, having done that, we've got, f so we're going to be bringing more food up to this one. So I'm thinking that maybe, maybe we need a second train on there. Oh, look at the planes flying around. Oh, I, was, I thought there was going to be a mid-air collision then. That was a close run thing. Um, okay. What am I going to do now? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to check the freight station. Let's have a look. Oh, and suddenly we've got production materials. We've got tools. Awesome. Right. I want to have, uh, a, like, the Applejack line over here. I want the same thing, but I want it going on here. So we're going to set up a quick production line. Um... Let's slow things right down. Okay, so we want a freight station. Uh, yep. Flip you around. That's in range. Uh, you know what? I might put a little. Oh, and look, the roads have changed, by the way. Have you noticed? Because we've got we've hit 1930, the roads have now changed to tarmac and the speeds will have increased so the way we're going to do this one is we're going to i think we're going to use trucks to haul down this road i think that makes sense so we're going to get let's see 
freight. Um, I'm going to use a large truck station because we might be running a lot of trucks up and down here. Yeah, let's pop you there. Okay, now this road going down here, I think we should probably upgrade this. Uh, this is a medium country road. We want large country road. That's 62 miles an hour. Yeah, that'll do. So we want to upgrade. Upgrade this. There we go, the whole thing. Cha-ching. Alrighty. So we'll put uh, we'll put a large depot in at the other end as well. So let's flip you around. And where are we gonna put you? Yeah, about about there maybe. Cha-ching. Uh, now we want a depot. So let's put a depot in. Now let's see, we're picking up from that end. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, this can go freaking anywhere. Um, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on that side though. Let's put you in there. Okay. So we'll buy road vehicles. We will use these awesome new bends. Top speed 25 miles an hour. Capacity eight. Fly in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nah, ten. Yeah, ten. Set line, uh, new line, and you're going to run from Viewtoville East down to Viewtoville Transfer. Cool. Alrighty. So that's that done. So let's, let that, let's not actually let that run. Oh, have a look at that. Truck's coming out. Oh, they're going to fly up and down there. So, are you going to uh, you going to start producing anytime soon? Maybe. Yeah. 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 You'll get to it eventually. Now, this one, I'm kind of wondering, do we truck it down here? I don't know. I don't know. Let's put in first of all. Let's put in the freight. So we want a freight station. I'm guessing. I'm guessing here would probably be as good a place to put it as any, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course it would. So we want one of these. Is it a freight station? Yes, it's a freight station. <laughs> um, how many tracks do I want here? Now we've got, we've got that coming in. I don't think there's anything else that we're going to ship into here. So I think we'll just stick with... Um, I'm going to put, put three. I'll put three platforms on this one. Because we've got a bit of room. Um, so... Yeah, I'm thinking there kind of sort of all right that'll do right so hook you up with a road and we'll use one of these nice um large country road maybe a large country road and you've got options now for bus lanes and trams and all kinds of stuff there's loads of stuff we haven't even got into yet um now do i put a road going up there I must admit i'm kind of sort of tempted to but I'll do. Um, I'll, I'll probably do that another time. Focus on one thing, Sky. For God's sake, just do one. Th do one thing and try and get it right for a change. So, yeah. Now, see the f the food. I actually want to bring the food like directly into there, don't I? Yeah, I do. Of course, I do. All right. So let's get you hooked up. Now we're on the. Yeah, we're on the outside. So that should go into there. Turn the blooming catenaries off. Thanks. Uh, so you go like that. You are going to go like that. Okay, that's you hooked up. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is we want to go to the line manager and Halo Freight. And we want to add station. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, after Sparksville. Boom. Hooray. So that's that done. Okay. Uh, let's add a signal. Uh, I don't know. Like it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it immediately after the station, I think. Uh, no, let's not. Let's add it up here. Makes more sense. So let's add you there. All right, cool. I, I yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking I should have maybe run this a, a bit longer. But we'll see. Um, by the way, I have got a, 
a potentially a solution for running these trains uh, around, uh, putting some track around these passenger stations so that the freight trains. I might even put an inner line on this. I haven't decided. I might. I might. We'll see. You know, I, now I've said it, I'm like, that could be a really, really cool idea. And have, um, because then we'd have switches through here. And the trains would be very cool. Okay, try and concentrate. Try and concentrate. Um, okay, so now we need to get the other train coming down. Uh, so, we, yeah, I think we're going to do this with a train. Yeah, we're going to do it with a train. Okay, so, let's get a road going. What do I want? I want a medium country road, I think. And, oh, for God's sake, come out straight, will you? No. Come out straight. Thank you. All right, let's bring you around to about there. And then, I don't know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, I might even come out a little bit further. There we go. Right, so we want a freight station. Flip you around. We don't need three tracks. We only need one. We don't need it extended. I don't think. Um, yeah, something like that should do. Cool. Right. Let's see how the track is going to be. Get the track. Uh, now, if I just put this in as like one thing, like, and I want to come into the inside one, I think. Concrete bridge is 124, steel bridge is, is, it's not telling me. I don't know, I might go with the concrete. Concrete looks kind of cool. Right, uh, but I need to lift it up, so. Now that's going to take it over there, as well, over the road as well, which is kind of nice. If I take it at one more, then we clear the boats. Oh, that works. Yeah, that's peachy. Right, we'll take that. Uh, yep. Two million. Well worth it. There. Okay, so now we want... Uh, what are we going to be shipping? We're shipping food, aren't we? Yeah, so it's a mixture of grain and animals. No, it's not. We're shipping food, you idiot. We've already done the grain and animals bit. Buy train. This is going to be uh, class 75. We're going to want two of these, aren't we? Yeah, because this is going to be producing absolutely tons. Yeah, okay, we'll get two. So let's buy you. And we want, we just want the Vans wagons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is coming up a bit of a hill, so I think we'll just leave it at ten. That should be plenty. Right, and then we'll use the clone vehicle, which I haven't shown you. Somebody left me a comment and said, oh, you can copy. I did know, I just, I, I don't know whether I had an opportunity to buy two trains together, but. All right, set line, and this is gonna be a new line. But um, like, never assume that I do know. If you've got any tips, like, let me know, because there's a lot of stuff that I don't know, so. Never be afraid to leave me a tip, even if you think it's obvious. Right, so you're gonna go into here, um, we'll change the colour of that line so we can actually see it. About that. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so if we're going to have two trains on there, we need to double track this. So, we'll get tracks and, I don't know, from about. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, man, this is going to be an awesome freaking bridge. All right, let's bring you up to there and complete the line. So up to about, I don't know, there we'll do. And hook you up onto that. Cha-ching. All right. Now, if we look at the line, um, so, well, you know what? Let's open that up. Get the first train coming out, right. If I take you, get the line. Right, so need a couple of signals to make this work. We need, so we're going to be coming up the right hand side, so we want signal there. 
going to go down to the bottom end and so be coming down this way so we want to signal there there we go Cha ching and now our line works and am i going to put my signals outside the station yeah for this no i'm not going to bother it i don't think oh, i don't know yeah apparently i am <laughs> apparently i can't stop myself so yeah we want a signal oh want a signal there and we want a signal i don't know there all right cool Right, done. Go. Go. Be free. Fly. Fly, my children. Okay, so that's getting on with that. Where are our Mercedes-Benz trucks? They're all whizzing up and down this road kind of nicely. We I think we're going to need, like, even more trucks than that. Right. We are producing. Now, let's see. Let's see how smart this farm is. What's your potential? Okay, it's only around 40 at the moment. Uh, how about you? Have you figured out you've got... Yeah, he's figured it out. Potential. Zero at the moment. But I'm pretty sure that he's going to figure that out soon. And that's going to go ballistic. That's running down there. So, that means that our awesome Halo Freight Line can now be picking up at two different stops. Right, let's go back over to the Applejack and see how are we doing now. Uh, nothing waiting. So have, have we just had the just had the freight train? Are you? Yep, there it is, and it's carrying. Oh my lord, it's carrying seventeen food. Who freaking right? Good. So we're starting to get food produced there. If we can get food produced here and get food shipped around to all of those towns, oh my God, they're gonna grow hugely. Oh, now this I have to show you. Uh, let's get rid of all of the icons for a minute. Uh, with the exception of, we'll keep the town names. Let's go and have a look at Barrington. Just look. We're starting to get taller buildings because we've moved into a different era and the town is growing. Look at this, we've got blocks of flats going on. And eventually we're going to have like skyscrapers and all kinds of cool stuff. You know what, let's um, let's have a ride around town, shall we? Now, I'm, I'm going to have to go around, probably between now and the next episode, and do a load of vehicle upgrading, I think. Um, so let's see. Let's, um, let's let's have a ride through Barrington, shall we? Let's pop you up there. My God, look at the people packing the bus stops. I need the new buses. We need the new buses. We need the new freight trucks. But look at the town. Look how different it is now. Now that we're we're into the 1930s now, guys. Oh, look at that. Look at that house. Oh, it's a, it's a restaurant. Oh, this game really is so damn freaking good. Alrighty. Um, you know what? We want to see we want to see the new buses anyway, don't we? So, yeah. All right. Uh, let's pause for a minute. Uh, now, this is going to be... Well, I'm just going to do this one line and the rest I'll do offline, but I want to see the new buses. So, this is going to be the RP... Uh, I need to re rename all of these lines. It's going to be RP Barrington, isn't it? RP Barrington, here we go. So, we want RP Barrington 1 and 2. Now, what's the best way to do this? I think the best way to do this... Or well, the easiest way to do this is just to sell the damn things. So how many have we got? We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got we got ten on those. Um, we're gonna need the same number. We probably don't need quite so many. Okay, go to the depot and be sold. And you go to the depot and be sold. Right, let's uh, now let's go to the depot. 
and we will buy road vehicles. We want these Daimler top seaters. Capacity, 11 passengers, 22 miles an hour. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go with eight. Um, yeah, and you need to go on RP Barrington one. Where is it? RP Barrington one. And then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think I said. Set line RP Barrington two. Ching. All right, let's have a little look at these new buses and then we'll call it an episode. And I think I'd, I'll be interested to see your comments because I think it's been a good episode. Right, well, where's the depot? Here's the depot. Go. Oh, and the door's open, and here it comes. Our first double-decker bus. Yeah, oh, you're going into town, aren't you? Let's, uh, well, they're both going into town. They're just going different ways. You know what? Let's follow this one. I like the look of this one. Now we can get rid of you. So, what does it say on the front? I can't quite read that. That is, that is very, oh, just an accident. That was the bus's fault, mate. You should sue him. Here we go. Oh, and they're all going to sit on the top deck. Good job. How many passengers? Yeah, he's got a full load of 11 passengers. There's empty seats. You could cram... You could cram at least another... You could get like another dozen people on there. What the hell's wrong with you? Pick up more people. Let more people on your bus. Bus driver's like, no, sorry mate, can't. Regulations. Regulations stay. Only 11 passengers on the bus. I'd like to, but nothing I can do about it. Not my, not my rules. I only work here, mate. What does it say on the front? Stop turning every time I try and read what you've got on the front. No, I, I can't read that. What about the back? Can I read what's in the back? No, nope, can't read a damn thing. Alrighty. But that should start to help us maybe show... You know what? I might even increase the number even more because we've got so many people waiting. Look, we've got 105 people waiting at that bus stop. I don't know. I, gu I guess I should let the buses run for a while and, and see. But, like, all the buses are coming through full. Where's the uh, where's the first stop? It's a good question. Let's, um, let's turn the stops back on so that we can see. So... Yeah, which way? Oh, that's freight stops. We want passenger stops. There we go. So, the first stop is this one. Yeah, there's still loads and loads of people there. 77. Yeah, I think we need more buses. <laughs> we need more buses. And I'm thinking we need more trains. Well, I don't know. I think with the trains, we just need to improve the... Um... Although, no, there's nobody waiting. Oh, maybe I've got the trains just about right then. You know what? Let's turn uh, let's turn all the icons on. And you. Yeah. And then let's just have go and have a quick look at the stations and see see how many people are waiting at this. We've got 91 waiting there. Now probably the easiest way to do this is if I go to the lines and we can actually have a look through here. Yeah, Confuseland's got like 255. Yeah, we've got... There's a lot of people waiting at different places. Oh, we've got an autosave. That's another end of year. Right, let's uh, jump up here. Yeah, we've got like 350 people waiting here. Yeah, we definitely need to increase our capacity. Either more trains. And I think probably put a couple more trains on. But also increase the number of cars on the trains. But frankly, do I care about any of that? No, because we've got freaking airplanes. Should we finish the episode with a bit of a ride on one of the planes? Just for like a few seconds. Uh, I, was, I was looking for Flying Blind. Where's Flying Blind? 
Uh, flying blind. There we go. Oh. Oh, have you just landed? If you just landed. No, oh, no, he's just about to take off. Oh, perfect timing. All right, another quick flight with flying blind. Come on, get a move on. I want to see you take off. That's the interesting bit. There we go. Are you ready? Love the sound effects. And the tail lifts and up he comes. Alright guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have because the whole airplane thing, I can't wait to get the newer models. Things are going good. We, we'll, um, between now and the next episode, um, I'm going to put in a bunch of freight depots uh, not, well, freight stations um, at the rest of the towns going around the Halo line. Uh, I'm going to time lapse that, so that'll probably be the beginning of the next episode. And then I think I want to dedicate maybe the rest of the episode to oil. We haven't seen any of the oil tankers yet. We haven't seen that whole production chain. So come back for the next one. Oil tankers. Peace out.